fascinating places that no longer exist because tourists destroyed them. Boangkak Lake, Cambodia Boangkak is an area in Cambodia that used to be covered by the largest urban lake in Phnom Penh, the capital of the country. The lake was entirely surrounded by residential areas, businesses, hotels, and other buildings. Many international tourists frequented the area, stayed in luxury hotels, and ate, drank, and partied around the lake. In 2007, over 90% of the lake was filled with sand to make way for more buildings and hotels. Many locals had to relocate due to the frequent flooding that followed. Today, the lake is merely a neglected puddle. Duckbill Rock Formation, Oregon The Duckbill was a sandstone hoodoo rock formation in the U.S. state of Oregon. It was a major tourist attraction along the Oregon coast and was photographed frequently. In 2016, a group of teenagers vandalized the rock and put an end to it within a matter of seconds. It was toppled, presumably just for fun. Even worse, the teens were never caught. Maya Beach, Thailand Maya Beach was a pretty bay known for its pristine waters, shiny white sands, and towering cliffs. This beautiful destination also served as the location of the movie The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Since then, the beach received a massive influx of tourists who kept flocking there all year round. Sadly, many tourists left behind trash, spooked the local animals and damaged the plants, and the pollution from the boats almost wiped out 50% of the coral. In 2018, the officials closed the beach and announced that it would take years for nature to heal and come back to the bay. The Tree of Tenere this was a famous acacia tree in the Sahara Desert and you may have seen it many times in different pictures. It was once considered the most isolated tree on Earth, the only one for over 400 kilometers. It served as a landmark for nomads for centuries. Unfortunately, in 1973, a Libyan traveler who had consumed a few drinks too many, drove right into the tree. Its trunk snapped and that was the end of the world's most unique tree. What's left of the tree now stands in the Niger National Museum. The authorities then erected a metal sculpture of the tree at the same spot. Torres del Paine National Park. This is a beautiful national park that is home to mountains, glaciers, lakes, and rivers in southern Chilean Patagonia. Needless to say, the splendid beauty attracted many tourists, and tourism attracted mishaps. In 1985, a tourist started a fire that affected the areas around a lake. In 2005, another tourist lit a campfire that spread out and lasted for 10 days, torching almost 2 square km of forest area. In 2011, yet another tourist attempted to light up some paper roll and the blaze torched down 36 square km of native forest. After many other incidents of blazes, the area was shut for restoration till 2012 and a large part of it remains forbidden. Chacaltaya Glacier, Bolivia The snow mountain was once the world's highest ski resort. Tourists could ski above the clouds at 17,338 feet while admiring the view of the beautiful Lake Titicaca. Due to the gradual climate change, 80% of the glacier disappeared over a course of 20 years. The rest of it melted away in 2009, six years earlier than predicted. The ski resort is now a ghost town with an abandoned building that was once flocked by enthusiastic adventurists. Cave Paintings, Grote de Lascaux The story of these paintings is a tragic cautionary tale in the human missteps. The cave in southwestern France was discovered in 1940 and led way to an astonishing finding of 600 ancient paintings and 500 engravings in limestone. The images featured ancient animals, humans, and abstract signs. Soon, the site attracted a lot of tourists, who carried heat, humidity, and other contaminants that altered the cave's well-kept climate. Even after several unsuccessful attempts at conservation, the paintings caught fungus and started fading. The caves were shut down for visitors, and authorities created the Las Cotu, a replica of the caves for tourists. Nazca Lines, Peru 
The 2,000-year-old Nazca Lines located in Peru are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They are a series of drawings on the surface of a coastal plain and are some of the world's best-known collection of geoglyphs. In 2014, activists from the Greenpeace organization laid a sign for climate change very close to one of the etchings, causing damage to the site. Drivers and tourists have also destroyed the site by driving through the lines. In 2018, a driver intentionally drove his truck off a roadway and damaged three geoglyphs.